Thanks, Joe. I'm with special teams coordinator Jeff Bowden. Jeff, what's one of the main focuses for Akron's punting game? Um, our number one goal is to, uh, to, to rank highly in the country in net punting. I think that's the number one goal of every punt. That we, we focus mainly on that. And so far, Zach is nationally ranked 21st in the nation. What's some of the main focuses for his development? Well, um, it, it's always going to be for a punter, not just the fact that you kick it far, but your hang time has to match the distance that you kick a ball. So that's his focus. And then the second thing is for him to continue to work on his direction because, you know, we need him to kick it to certain areas of the field to help our coverage out. How is he different from previous years? Well, he's growing up. I mean, you know, I was just talking to him the other day and he reminded me that he's only punted for four years and this is just his second year in college punting. Now, he's a good punter, but he's still developing. And uh, I'm really proud of where he's where he's where he's at now, and I, but I, I look for him to continue to improve. Thanks so much, Jeff. Zach, how did you know that punting was the right position for you? Well, I grew up playing soccer, and uh, in high school I played other positions and other sports like basketball and baseball, and I decided like in the end um, kicking was actually what I wanted to do in college originally, but eventually talking to other coaches at camps and for recruiting purposes, punting seemed to be where I was most likely going to play at my highest level. Well, in high school, before I came to Akron, I was uh, practicing on uh, Brexel High School's field, and I saw Reggie Hodges, the old punter for the Browns from the past years. And uh, he, he took me and kind of brought me under his wing. And uh, ever since, he's been like, he uh, called me this past summer to work with me. And we worked a few times, and ever since he's been the first one to like congratulate me on a good game, and like call, he calls me right after the game ends, and it's been a really good opportunity for advice and uh, for help with my technique and um, just becoming a better punter. One major thing that I changed from last year is how I visualized a good punt before it would happen, and I kn I would go into I could go into a game now, and I can focus on something that I need to focus on to hit a good punt, whether it's a difference in the wind direction or where I need to put the ball on the field. I think that the not, like now the knowledge uh, that I've received from the work that I've done the last off season has definitely turned into confidence. So I, I, know I, I know I can hit a good ball now. So compared to last season where I was not really familiar with all the really technical things about punting, so I was going out there and doing the best I could, but now I know how to punt the ball the correct way. So it kind of relieves a little bit of stress when you're out there and makes you a little more poised, I think. Well, I know the team goals is to be in the top five or 10 in the nation net punting, which is um, the yardage after the return. Mm -hmm. um, and personally, I'd like to be, obviously I'd like to be number one in the category, but it, just how it happens. I think we could still reach our goals. And personally, I like to be uh, like gross punting average. I'd like to be in the top 10 in the nation too. Um, and we're we're only about halfway through the season. I think with a little more, a little more work and a little improvement, we could still reach some of our goals. Well, good luck the rest of the season, Zach. And we'll see you out there. Joe, back to you.